This is going to be a fun one. I'm wearing what I think are the smartest hearing aids that I've ever tested and trialed. It's the Starkey Omega AI. It's the newest flagship from Starkey. Replaces the Edge AI, which they released in 2023. I'm going to talk you through all of my notes. I'll talk about the basics, the form factor, the design of these devices, how they feel in the ear, how they sound, and then we'll take a deep dive into the app. And this is where this brand really sets itself apart. They have more smart, interesting features than almost anybody else in the category. They have live translation, they have reminders, health tracking, there's a whole lot to dig into. We'll get into all of it here in this video. If we haven't yet met, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com. We're one of the leading destinations for hearing health research and shopping in the United States. If you like what you see in this video, I'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Helps videos like these reach more people. With that, Let's dig in. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm going to start with the basics. We'll talk about who Starkey is, how you get Starkey products, what this product's all about. Then I'm going to dig into sound quality, because that's why many of you are probably here trying to understand, are these hearing aids really good? Are they better than past generations? How do they match up to the rest of the hearing aid market? Then we'll talk about some of the smart features, which I really like inside of these Starkey Omega AI hearing aids. And then we're going to do a full deep dive into the apps. So by the end of the video, you'll know a lot about the Starkey Omega AI and whether it should be on your shortlist for prescription hearing aids in 2026. So let's start out with a look at the form factor. Now, one of the things that's great about how Starkey rolls out new products that they typically roll out their new products as a full family. So you can actually get Omega AI in an in-ear model, a behind the ear model, which is what I've been trialing. And then there are a couple different sizes of the behind the ear model. So the one that I've had is the larger flagship 24 tech level. And if you actually compare this device to the smallest receiver and canal device in the market, which is the Resound Vivia, this is the flagship from Resound, it's quite a bit larger, but you can step down in size and get a smaller version of the Omega AI which has a little bit less battery life. So in my case, I opted for the one that has 51 hours of battery life. And this is really crazy. I've actually worn them for a full day. I leave them on my kitchen counter, not in the charger. And then I come back to them, wear them for a full another day, and I still have charge left. So I love the 51 hour battery life, but if you don't want the larger size, you can step down in size and then you give up a few hours of battery life. So it's a trade-off you'll have to think about or work with your hearing care professional as you decide on which one's the right fit for you. Now, when it comes to charging, Starkey Omega also comes with a recharge case that does carry power. So it's not plugged into the wall, obviously. And I just drop it in, you can see the little power light kicking on and it begins charging my hearing aids. So theoretically, you wouldn't have to recharge these devices by plugging them into the wall for maybe a week or two weeks, depending on how much you're using these devices. So in terms of rechargeability, this really is one of the leaders on the market, especially if you go for this larger size. The design itself stays very similar to previous iterations of Starkey devices, like Edge AI, which is the last generation, looks basically identical. One of the meaningful updates they've made is that they've added an indicator light which basically just shows in more instances. So it'll turn on when you pair to Bluetooth, it'll turn on when you're charging, it'll turn on when you pull it out. Uh, and basically it's telling you that it is responding. So you're not wondering if your hearing aids are responding at each of these transition moments. Something I like, it's a small change, but it's something that I've enjoyed using as I've been trialing these devices. Starkey's also made some improvements to durability with Starkey Omega AI. They were already IP68 rated in past generations, but now they're even tougher. They have a new seal on them. And if you've watched my other videos, you know this is actually pretty important to me. I swim with my daughter a lot and you know I'm not putting my head fully under or swimming laps, but I'll get splashed or I might go under for a moment. And I wear my hearing aids when I'm doing this. So having a brand that can stand up to those elements for years on end is really important to me. And it's important to a lot of the folks that we talk to. Omega AI is a fully Bluetooth enabled device. You can use iPhone, Android, They've included Bluetooth low energy audio 
and they're Oracast ready, which means that in the future, they can make their devices available via Oracast. We're still waiting on the world to really begin releasing Oracast experiences. Most public spaces do not yet have this, but in the future, you'd be able to stream things like public announcements or maybe even theater performances directly into your hearing aids. So these have the technology to do it, but Starkey will just have to turn that functionality on at some point in the future once those experiences become more common. Now, one of the things I'm always curious about when it comes to Bluetooth streaming is how far the devices can maintain a connection from my smartphone. So I went through my normal test and I found that these devices had a very similar range to other market leaders in the prescription category. So even within a couple of feet of brands like Resound and Phonak and Oticon. All right, so that gives you a little bit more on form factor. But one thing you might be wondering, especially if you're just beginning your research, is how you actually get a pair of Starkey Omega AI hearing aids. Now, if you've been researching in the hearing health category, you've probably noticed that there are over-the-counter devices, which you can buy in places like soundly.com and have shipped to your home or maybe received telecare. And then there are products that are only sold in local clinics. Starkey fits in that second category. So this is only available at a local clinic. If you're trying to find a local clinic that offers Starkey, you can drop down to the link below, you can go over to soundly.com. We have a, a provider search and we've worked with all the providers that we partner with to offer a free hearing test for anybody who comes through soundly.com. So, so go through that link, you'll get paired up with a local clinic typically within short driving distance of your home, and then you can get a free hearing test and decide what you want to do after that point. So those are some of the basics, but if you're watching this video, it's very likely that you are most interested in one thing, and that is how do these devices sound and did the upgrades in the new Omega AI actually provide benefit for users who have an older generation or maybe have an older device from a different brand? How do these actually sound in the real world? And when I'm testing hearing aids, I'm always looking really for two basic things. One, I want to understand if the hearing aids are giving me clarity. So are they actually helping me capture the sound of speech from my wife, my daughter, my friends, and bringing it into my ears in a way that I can process easily and stay connected to the conversation? That's number one. And that becomes more challenging in noise, as anyone who's worn hearing aids knows. So how do they perform in noise? How do they perform in quiet settings? How do they perform outdoors? And ultimately, how well do they keep me connected into the conversations that I'm having? And then number two, it's always about comfort. So how comfortable are these hearing aids? Can I actually wear them for hours on end? That's both the physical design and how they sit in my ears but also how do they handle things like wind noise, sudden sounds, when someone sets a dish down, is it loud and, and jarring or is it smooth and blended in with the rest of the sound that I'm hearing? So as I've spent a few weeks in these Starkey Omega devices, I found that their sound quality is really among the top tier that you would expect from the hearing health category. They're comparable with Resound Vivia, the Phonak Infineo products, anything from Oticon, they're really operating at that top echelon of sound, both in terms of clarity and comfort. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I, I sometimes talk about the sound signature of these different brands, a little bit like coffee or wine tasting notes, because in some ways it's just subjective. Which type of sound do you like better? What I find with Starkey is that it has a crisp, more assertive, snappy sound compared to something like Phonak or Signia, which I find is a little rounder and smoother. Starkey in some ways sounds the most similar to Resound to my ears, which means that I'm getting a lot of confidence during a conversation. I feel that crispness and I can hear the S's and the T's. It has a sort of snappy quality to it. Now on the flip side, that also means it can be a little bit less comfortable, especially in the high frequencies. Now again, each person's ears are different, each person's hearing loss is different, but in my case, I find that this has a sharp, confidence-inspiring type sound quality. Now, in terms of how they're handling sudden sounds or managing background noise, I would say these are really on par with the best products in the market. They are doing a really good job of sifting out noise, getting me to speech, grabbing those voices that I need, and pulling them back to me. One area that I see Starkey Omega pulling ahead or taking the lead in terms of sound quality is something called Edge Mode Plus, which is a feature that you can activate inside of their app. I believe you can also program it to be accessible through the buttons on board your device with your local audiologist. But Edge Mode Plus is a situational tool that you can simply tap, it scans the audio coming in through your hearing aids, and then it makes an immediate adjustment to give you the best sound in that situation. Now, your hearing aids are always doing this in automatic mode, 
but Edge Mode Plus takes a more aggressive approach. So one example for me that every audiologist I've worked with knows is a tough situation is when I'm pushing my daughter on the swing. Now, if you think about it, she's looking the other way. She has a soft voice. She wants to talk to me while she swings and her body is moving further away and coming back. It's a very challenging situation for any hearing aid. Now, when I was wearing my Starkey Omega hearing aids, I clicked Edge Mode Plus it did a scan of the environment, and then I clicked speech clarity, because you get a few different options. Do you want comfort, speech clarity, or just an overall sound? I clicked speech clarity, and I found that in that setting, I was able to hear her even as she's swinging away and swinging back to me. That was a big win for Stark Omega AI. And in general, I like that they've built in this tool that's a little bit more aggressive in those tougher situations. So if you're at a dinner, or maybe you're in a loud crowd at an event, or you're in a softer setting where it's really quiet and you're trying to pick up someone's voice from across the room, Edge Mode Plus is a tool that I've found really useful. So overall, when it comes to sound, I would say Starkey has sound quality that is on par with the market and has this extra tool, which I find really useful in the most difficult situations. Now where Starkey really leads the market is in some of their more inventive features. And Starkey's been doing this for a long time. They've essentially been taking their hearing aids and thinking about them not just as amplification devices, but as smart health devices. So on board this hearing aid, you actually have the ability to measure your respiratory rate, so how much you're breathing each day. This is something you could track over time. You can track your steps. You can track your overall speech activity, meaning how much conversation did you have with people. Were you in noise a lot? Were you in quiet a lot? So there's even a balance test where you go through a series of steps to analyze your balance. You can work on improving your balance. You can even set up fall detection and a notification that goes to someone that you love, maybe someone in your family if you do fall. There's so many smart features built into these devices that I just found it a lot of fun to play with. There's even a live translation feature which theoretically translates from someone else's language into your language. Now, in my case, I haven't found that it's that accurate or useful. I wouldn't imagine that I'll use it the next time I go to Europe, but it's great that Starkey is constantly pushing the envelope and trying to make these devices into something that are really blending modern technology and hearing technology. One feature that I have found really useful and I'm actually using a lot are the reminders. So you can simply open up the app you tap on the microphone, tell the smart assistant that you want a reminder for 10.30 the next morning to call your sister. And when you're walking around the next day at 10.30, a little announcement will come through your hearing aids and tell you that you should call your sister at 10.30. I've used this in a handful of different situations. It's really helpful and cool, again, that hearing aids are becoming more useful than just the amplification that they provide. So with that, let's actually dig into the app. I'll show you the full experience in the app, how you can customize your sound and some of these extra features. All right, let's take a look at the My Starkey app. You can see the app looks like this. You'll find it in your Google Play or iOS store. Once you've downloaded the app and set up your hearing aids, your home screen will look something like this. You've got your programs, Edge Mode Plus, which I'll walk you through in a moment and then your volume sliders. So here you can see I have my volume sliders split or I can separate them and change my right and my left separately. Generally, I like to keep these together. So I'll typically go back to a non-split view. You can see I have a view of my battery life. Now it's worth noting that I did not charge my devices last night. So they actually sat running all night last night. Uh, and I still have quite a bit of battery left. And then up here at the top, you'll find the assistant. So I'm just gonna give the assistant a prompt. And in fact, I'm going to have it set a reminder for me. Hey, remind me in 10 minutes to walk the dog. So now it's set a reminder for me to, in 10 minutes to walk the dog. I can manage my reminders by toggling them on and off and resolve them. I'll leave walk the dog. And in 10 minutes, that's going to actually play a reminder into my ears. So that's an interesting feature. Now we'll take a look at this center section. So the first thing to note is that when you're in your main program, it's going to show you the name of that program. So this is called personal. If I want to change things about that program, I can adjust the sound. So I can actually change the noise, the level of noise reduction if I want to, wind reduction, or I can make EQ adjustments. So in general, I've found that I'm playing with this a little bit. I like to keep my noise reduction fairly high. I find this setting is a little bit unnatural, but very powerful. And then if I move it back out here, it's a little bit too open for me. So I'm liking this setting, but you can play around with this on your own. 
Then you'll have your programs listed here. I just have two programs right now. I have my personal and then I have a custom program that I designed. You can design as many programs as you want or your hearing professional may put some programs in place for you. Now this is an interesting section that is a little bit unique to Starkey. If you tap on my hearing, you can actually do a self check. This is really interesting. You can play a sound into your ears and it'll tell you if your hearing aids are working properly. So when I run this check, it's going to play a beep into my ears. And then now is going to tell me my receiver is performing well, my microphone is performing well, and my circuit is performing well. This is a basic level of troubleshooting that isn't available in most hearing aids, and it can just give you some confidence that your devices are working and give you something to talk to your provider about if something isn't working properly. Now we'll move to the bottom section where we'll talk about health. So you can track a lot of different things about your health. You can see my steps today, how much I've been standing, how much I've been exercising, can go into my hearing, which will tell me the amount of time that I've spent uh, in various types of settings. So social activity, again, I didn't charge these last night. So it's saying I've had 20 hours of social activity and it'll give me a tracking of conversation, listening, streaming, so how I'm using my devices. If I tap into wellness, I can set up a follow alert, measure my respiratory rate, or take a balance assessment and even do some balance building exercises. So lots of cool stuff in there. And then if you click more, this is where you can use some of the features that I talked about during the rest of the video. So reminders, you can set these up. So as you can see, you have lots of options for customization in the app. One other thing I'll show you is that if you start streaming, so if I start to play through my, my hearing aids and I'm streaming music, which I can now hear playing through my hearing aids. If I go back to the app, the app itself is going to give me the ability to control streaming volume or control how much outside world sound I want. So if I don't wanna hear anything from the outside world, I can turn that off. Or if I want full volume of my own voice in the world around me, I can turn that up. So this is a control you have only once you actually begin to stream. So that's it. All right, there you have it. We've talked about some of the basics with Starkey Omega AI. I've told you about my own sound experience, what I've found in real life everyday situations, and we've dug in depth into the app. I hope you've found this helpful. If you are interested in this product or you just in general want to get a local hearing test, head over to soundly.com and enter in your zip code. We'll help you find a local clinic and you'll get a free hearing test there. And that can really start your journey. You can also take our online hearing test. If you haven't yet done that, that'll give you a quick sense of your hearing profile and whether this product or maybe an over-the-counter product might be right for you. Thanks for your time and good luck with your research. <music>